Hey guys, Extreme Apps here. Today we'll show you um, an app that has recently been released in Syria, and it is called PDA Net. Uh, and this is basically like my why uh, you like you can connect to your iPhone through the internet on your computer, which can be handy sometimes. And uh, it will be titled PDA Net Free Edition because you buy the full edition in the free edition app. Uh, I don't know what you have to pay for it. I don't actually know what comes with the full version. Uh, I think the free version is awesome. And you will also find a uh, PDA Net toggle for SP settings. And uh, this works for all devices which have 3G. And it does work for Edge as well, but it will be really slow. And before you uh, try this, make sure that you have a decent internet connection or a decent signal. As you can see, almost full. Uh, this should work perfectly. This is what the application looks like. You'll see Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi client, and USB tether. Uh, Wi-Fi hotspot lets you connect. Uh, yeah, you know, you can broadcast hotspot from iPhone. Uh, Wi-Fi client is when you can connect your iPhone, oh, sorry, your computer uh, to from your iPhone. And USB tether is where you can connect using USB C cable. Uh, the purpose of this video was to show you the uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot feature, so that's what I'm going to show you. So just click on, and you can make your settings here. Uh, SSID is the Wi-Fi name. WEP is the password. You can choose your channel and signal and all that kind of stuff. And you want to click activate. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna click activate because then a bunch of stuff will appear and. A part of those bunch of stuff that will appear is my name, which I would like to keep personal. So I'm just gonna not, I'm not gonna click activate right now, but you're just gonna do that. When you have clicked activate, uh, you will you want to go to your Wi-Fi settings on your computer, and as you can see, I am connected to Extreme Apps, which is the name that I chose. Uh, and if you can't connect to it, try again. Uh, make sure you have a good signal on your iPhone uh, and it should work. Uh, so as you can see I am connected as I said and now I'm going to choose the speed which is not great but it is pretty decent. So here I am at youtube.com as you can tell uh, and I'm just going to reload the page so that you can see the speed. And uh, as you can see not great pretty decent uh, it could have been worse could have been better uh, but yeah so I'm just gonna go to another website like Google and uh, Google it, you don't have to have like a good in uh, internet connection to connect to Google so it shouldn't take that long uh, why don't we try Apple because Apple has a lot of like pictures and stuff which does take time to load. And uh, you will see, you can see right now that you have to wait for it a bit more. So as you can tell, if you use this, uh, if you use this, don't uh, enter website which is like which which has like 100 images or something. Try to just connect to website that has that you don't have to have an awesome internet connection to connect to open. So I I I would recommend to stick to those websites who has like no images like Google. It only has this image right here. So that's the downside of this. Uh, it is pretty decent speed, but you can't enter a website with too many stuff on it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you did. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment. Don't just like say this video was bad if you think it was bad. Uh, please say like what was bad about it. That's a lot better. And that would be awesome. 
So as you can see, now it loads pretty slow when you are loading up websites like this. But it is a very awesome app anyway, and I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe, as I said, and I will see you in the next video.